Good evening! I've got another great recipe for you. This one's actually super easy and super quick. Boom, like that. It's in my Working Stiff cookbook and it's called Speedy Tortellini. It's on page, I don't know, what page is that? 108. If I had my glasses on, you could see. But look, it looks like that Speedy Tortellini. And it's in a book by Bob Sloan and I got it in Seattle in Pike's Place Market. And look, it only costs $3.99. I got it on the clearance shelf back in like 2000 and um, it was a really good find because they have a lot of good recipes in this cookbook and it's quick stuff. So I'm making speedy tortellini. So I've already started boiling the water. The water is boiling. Um, it calls for 12 ounces of cheese tortellini. I'm going to double it, maybe a little bit more or so. So I have um, from the grocery store, I wanted to get a big bag. So I got the family size five cheese. And I got a smaller one of three cheese tortellini. All right, so I'm gonna pour, first I'm gonna pour this one in because this one has a couple more minutes to boil than the other one, so I'm gonna put that in. There we go. A couple minutes. Here we go. And I'll mix it up. All right, and then I have some olive oil. I put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in a big pan and I already have the heat on for that. And I'm going to put in about, um, you can put in one smaller um, onion or a half of a, a big onion. So I'm gonna put that in. And you can hear it's already started cooking. So we've got that. And I'm going to put in the cherry tomatoes. I put in almost um, 10 ounces of cherry tomatoes. I just cut them in half, so I'm gonna throw those in. And then I got um, a little, another container, about 10 ounces of uh, shiitake mushrooms. And they're already sliced for me and I'm gonna put that in. And then I'm gonna heat that up so that it's, um, so that the mushrooms and the tomatoes and the onions get a little bit soft. I'm gonna check out, there's my tortellini it's cooking. I'm gonna put in my other tortellini in just a second. And some of these mushrooms are a little big, so I might just chop them up in here a little bit. There we go. All right, so those are gonna cook for a little bit. And then what I have um, is, uh, I'm gonna put in about four cloves of garlic in just a second. And then I'm gonna put in about a cup of chicken broth. All right, so I am now going to, uh, I'm gonna wait maybe another minute. So I got this recipe when I was living in Seattle. I lived um, near Pike's Place Market and worked about three blocks from the market, which was really great because at lunchtime I could go down to the market and uh, buy a lot of ingredients for dinner that I wanted to make that night and it was just fresh and uh, it's a great place to visit so someday when this virus thing is all over it's a great place to go visit and check out the market and um, anyways they had this great uh, cooking store down near the market so I used to go there and look at cookbooks to buy and different things to buy to, to cook with so that was really fun so I'm going to put this other bag in and mix that up a little bit. Thank you for showing that, Amelia. So we'll mix that. And I'll put my timer on for about five minutes. There we go. And here we go. I'm going to put in my garlic. And mix that up. Oops, we'll find my spatula. So we'll mix that all together. And it's starting to smell really nicely with the onions and the garlic all mixed in. There we go. And I'll mix up my tortellini again. Here we go, it's looking good. It's got about four more minutes on the tortellini. 
So we'll keep cooking that for another minute or so, and then I'm going to put in the chicken broth, and I'm going to cook that down so it evaporates by about half, so that it still has a little bit of liquid in there, but not too much. So, anyways, while we're waiting for that to cook, um, Amelia, how was your day today? I'm tired. You're tired? Here, I'll turn it so you can <laughs> say hi to everybody. Uh, how was your day? Hi. Did you have a lot of on the line work today? I had science. Uh, that was how, great. How'd that go? It's fine. It's fine? What are you doing this weekend? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> yeah. You have more work to do? Maybe. Okay, well that's the end of our, our camera person. I'll turn it back over <laughs> okay. this way. All right, so now I'm going to get my chicken broth. And my chicken broth, I have something in my hair. My chicken broth, I just get the 30% um, less sodium from Kroger because it's a little better for you. And I just get the cheap knockoff version, not the expensive chicken broth. And then I'll pour that in. Ooh, look how good that looks. And we'll have that cook a little bit. Uh-oh, something just fell on the floor. No bueno. Oops. Throw that in there. So anyways, this is a favorite. All my kids pretty much like it, although I don't know if my kids like mushrooms. Do you like mushrooms, Amelia? I like mushrooms. Oh, good. Does Liam like mushrooms? I don't think so. What about Maddie? I, I don't think so I don't think Maddie does. But you and Liam also eat the tomatoes. Does Maddie eat the tomatoes? Uh, no, definitely not. No, well, I think we could kind of make her eat them. But uh, it's actually a really, really yummy recipe and super easy. Now, I forget, I, there might be some basil or something, some dried basil we put in. Hmm. Yep, I think at the very end, we're going to put in a teaspoon of basil at the very end just to give it some extra flavor, which I almost forgot about. So, excuse me, Amelia. Beep, beep. Here, it's in the big one. So I'll put about a teaspoon of that in at the very end. So I'm glad I remember that. And we only have about two minutes left on this. Look at, you can tell it's done because the cute little tortellini, they all start to pop up towards the top to say, I'm done, I'm done, I'm ready to be eaten. Anyways. Wow. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah, I know. So anyways, they're done in about two minutes and then these little babies keep on cooking away, which looks good. Anyway, so I suggest if you do go and tour Seattle, definitely go to Pike's Place Market. You definitely need to go see the uh, fishing people throw the salmon and catch it. That's really exciting. And they have really good Dungeness crab there and little seafood shops and coffee shops and floral stands and, and uh, vegetable stands. And it's super great, super, super fun. So definitely go visit when this virus thing is over. All right, so we got about one minute left. Now for the um, tortellini, I like to choose the three cheese tortellini, but if you like other flavors, I know there's maybe a spinach kind, you could try that to kind of change it up a little bit and try different flavors with it is always good. But um, it's super easy. And then I just usually make a salad for the side to go with this with a nice vinaigrette and it's perfect. And then a glass of wine is always good with it too, which I don't have any right now, but maybe this weekend. Anyways, got 30 seconds on this. You can see this, it's a nice little bubble going on here. It's simmering really nicely. Amelia, what's your favorite meal? I like spaghetti. Spaghetti and my spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah, I but do. also just like plain boring spaghetti. You like plain boring spaghetti with but the I also it? like, yeah, spaghetti and meatballs are still good. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll do spaghetti and meatballs in my crock pot one time. That's really good because you just make the meatballs ahead of time. You throw them in the crock pot with the sauce, and then that's done lickety split. Anyways, our uh, tortellini is done, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to grab my handy dandy um, oven mitts. Oven mitts. Thank you, yeah, Amelia. Thing. My oven mitts. The thing that there you go. Sense. Okay, sorry. I don't. I don't want to burn you. Beep beep oh, yeah. beep. Okay. Throw that in there. Very hot, very, very hot. All right, shake that a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna throw it in this bowl over here. Bowl. 
All right, and now I'm going to put my, it's about a teaspoon. I'm gonna put two teaspoons because I'm doubling the recipe. I might even be, be making uh, three times the recipe just because I like to have this as leftover. So I'm gonna do about two teaspoons. Throw that in. And mix that in so it has a nice little taste. Just about ready. Can we shut the timer? You wanna come look at it? Oh yeah, we should probably turn it's, that off. Thank you, Amelia. Yeah. Anyways, that's what that looks like. It's got a nice little bit of basil. I think they are also said so you could put a little bit of salt in, but like I said, I don't really salt anything, so I don't put any salt in it. But if you're a salt person, you can add a little bit of salt. So this looks perfect, looks really good. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm gonna get my oven mitts and I'm gonna get my this one because uh, this one scoops out all the liquid pretty nicely. All right, let's bring this over. All right, let's throw that in there. This is one heavy pan. It's a great pan, but it's so heavy. All right, so that's all in there. I'm gonna put that back. Ooh. And then I'm gonna take it and mix it up. Ooh, it's so pretty. I like all the colors. They're really nice. My um, friend Ji Young, um, she's a friend of mine from Korea that used to live here. And she used to invite me uh, at her home to have some meals and she always, said that in Korea it was all about the presentation, that they like to have many different colors to make it as colorful and beautiful as possible. So that kind, of, that kind of stuck with me. I don't know if we do that so much in America, but I thought that was a really good idea. So then I take a plate, then I put on a speedy tortellini, and then I'll add a little salad in a little bit to go with it, and we're all done. So look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So it's all done. So that's it for tonight. That's my meal for tonight, lickety split. You can get it done really quickly and it's really tasty. And that's it for tonight. I'll hopefully have a new recipe for you soon. Have a good night.